This is part three in the series of creating game assets using a sculpting workflow and we're creating planks of wood. In this episode we'll be going through very simple retopology using the decimate modifier and some handy hints and tricks for reducing the poly count. Okay so now we've got our plank of wood and we've sculpted it and we're happy with it. We need to turn it into a game asset and texture it. So obviously it's too high poly so we need to retopologize. The simplest way of doing that is to decimate and I'll show you a few tips about that now. So the first thing we want to do into object mode, I'm going to turn the mat cap off. We can get rid of this display now and I'm going to duplicate my object. Then up here I'm going to label these. This will be wood HP for high poly and this one will be wood LP for low poly. So with the low poly selected, let's go into our modifiers and choose decimate. Now you have the faces down here and we want to get this as low as we possibly can, but we want to keep our silhouette. So we're trying to keep these little notches and edges on the outside. We don't have to worry too much about the insides because anything you sort of see at an angle, like these bits here, you need topology for but the rest of it in here, that will be done by the normal map. So let's bring the ratio down. I'm gonna start with 0.01. It usually takes a few seconds. I'll hide the high poly and then make it visible. And you can see it's kept the silhouette. If I move around, it's keeping the silhouette, but it's still quite high. 3,500 faces is quite a lot for a game asset like this that you might use a lot. Let's try and get it lower. So 0.0, .0 naught five and now we're down to about 2,000 faces which still I feel is a bit too high but we are generally keeping the silhouette that looks good so let's go a little bit lower 0.003 and you can see there we did lose a bit of our shape I feel so if I go to the high poly and low poly actually that's not that bad we've kept most of it it seems it's best to move around a bit yep that seems fine let's try and go a bit lower 0.2 so we should be getting around 500 faces now so 700 and that is working just about. You can see in places like this, it might be a problem at steep angles. So somewhere like here, yeah, that seems okay. I think maybe that's as far as we can go this way of retopologizing. And 700 faces, that should be okay as long as we don't go overboard in our game engine. Okay, so we'll try it with that. It's a good idea to save your work now because as soon as we apply, that's called destructive editing and we can't get back. So let's save our work. And I like to put decimate in the title so I know what I've done. And I should have actually saved and then saved with a separate name in order to keep the editing up to this point. So that was a bit silly of me. There we go. And let's apply this decimation. Okay, now let's get rid of the high poly for now. And there's a bit of tidying up to do because you can see areas like this could cause problems later on with our textures. They just look a bit unusual. So let's go into edit mode and see what's happening there. So the area was around here. Let's move in. Long triangles like this can be a bit of a pain. They don't really work that well. So there's two ways of solving this. You can get the knife tool out and you could cut across here. And then you could go in and dissolve all these edges like this. Dissolve edges. Don't delete edges, otherwise that will delete the faces with them as well. And let's come back out of edit mode. And you can see that smoothed it out. That's one way of doing it. Let's see if we can find something else to clean up. Now this topology in here isn't particularly necessary. We need to try and keep it to quads or triangles where we can. But like I say, the normal map will do most of the information here. So if we can minimize this, that would be great. So an area like this has four triangles, but we could just have two triangles or one face here. So let's go in, grab the edges here, one, two, these four edges, and dissolve those edges. Or I could just grab that vertices there and dissolve vertices. And you can see it's got rid of some topology and it's made no difference. Another option is to come down to snapping. 
This is quite a nice quick option, this one. Snapping, choose Vertex. And now when I grab Vertex, let's see, let's choose this one here. If I grab it, it will snap to another vertices like this. Even better, I can press this button and it will automatically merge them when I snap. So G to grab and then it merges those vertices. And I can probably do the same with this one here. Grab, pull it in. It's a bit messy around here. Grab, pull that in. And you can see I'm slowly getting rid of topology that is unnecessary. It takes a tiny bit of practice getting used to what you can get rid of and what you need to keep. And obviously undo is your friend with this thing. And be careful around the edges here that you don't distort it too much and you don't move away from your silhouette. Now if I move this one to there, I'll undo it in a second, but you can see I've got a long triangle here. Let's just check our silhouette. So actually I want to get rid of that edge. It doesn't always affect it badly, but long thin triangles like this can be frustrating, especially if we wanted to go into texture paint later. Sometimes that can cause problems, I've found anyway. Back to vertex mode, can we pull any others around? Maybe this one, maybe this one. We've got a long thin triangle there, so I think we can grab that and pull that in. We can probably dissolve this vertices, or we'll just move it over there so we can stay in our little grab mode for now. Let's see about moving this down. That creates a long thin triangle there, but can we move this one down? It's a bit like playing a computer game in some ways. Now, if I go back, you can see it's not looking too nice there. Can you see the shading? So I'm not sure that one was, it was that happy with that one. So I'm gonna undo that. One other option, because I think I might want to keep this here, is to select it and say smooth vertex. Let's see what that looks like. And that smooths the vertex out, puts it right in the middle of everything, and that should help us. So let's go round fairly quickly now, smartening our mesh up. Be careful of this, this is snapped to a vertex underneath. You can tell because it looks a bit unusual, so make sure you undo that and you're snapping on the right vertices. There's quite a dent here and there's no need for it, so I need to move these out. I might be a bit careful around here because you can see there's some topology that might get distorted. I'm gonna smooth this one out. There we go, so that's made that nice and low poly. Have to do the other side. Occasionally when you retopologize with the decimate modifier, you get issues like this. And it's very important that you get rid of these. So if I come out of edit mode, you can see there's a real problem there. And they're just way too close. They're long, thin triangles, which you need to try and avoid, really. So in this case, I can probably just grab that over there and move it out of the way. This one looks a problem. And you can see there's some shading problems here. There's a vertices right underneath there. So I can delete and dissolve that one. I could just pull it over there, in fact. Remember, you can always press the full stop on your numpad as well. And that will center around a point, much like Alt F in sculpt mode. Again, it takes a tiny bit of experience to know where you need to pull and push things around. Here might be an issue. I'm actually going to get my high poly back to see what that looks like. And you can see there's sort of blobbiness here that's coming over the top of it. But it shouldn't affect our silhouette too much. So can we remove this sharp triangle? I'll click on that one, 
smooth vertices. Let's go back to our high poly and we're losing a bit of shape here. I don't think it's going to affect our normal map too much though, so we should be alright. However, if you were to worry about that, you might have to use the knife tool and maybe cut across here, like that. And then we can move these ones into place with snapping turned off. And that looks a tiny bit better in this case. Okay, that all looks okay. Let's select all. We've got now 500 faces. That's a lot better. Let's just double check with our silhouette. You can see the shape coming through, but generally around the edges, it's still fine. Perhaps there'll be an issue around here. Let's just go in a bit tighter and have a look. That's quite a distinct difference there. We can see how it goes and then see if we need to change it afterwards. But that might cause us a problem and that'd be interesting to see. OK, so that's a basic way of retopologizing using the decimate modifier. In the next episode, we'll be looking at baking out our textures using Blender Render. Let me know in the comments whether you're enjoying the videos. And thanks very much for your support. Thanks for watching.